Mm okay. Mm okay. Mm okay. Um, a few people have asked me about this. I was planning on making a video on it. If you go to Fuji, Fuji, um, and you got a Macintosh because uh, smart people own Macs. <laughs> Um, there's a very tiny issue. It's not really an issue. You just have to know what the hell to do. Um, uh, Fuji is probably going to fix this sometime in the near future. Um, well, actually, excuse me, Mac and Apple uh, should be fixing this in the uh, near future. Uh, it's a known issue uh, with Fuji. Um, like you take some shots, you pop in uh, your SD card in your computer. Okay, do not delete anything. You only drag and drop files from the card. Do not try to format the card in your Mac, okay? And uh, depending on which operating system you're using, what happens is is that you, when you pop the SD card in your Mac, your Mac likes to take a little the dirty dump, kind of like, you know, the dog that looks around and then takes a little squirt on the hydrant and then, uh, you know, drops some uh, dookies in your yard there while you're not looking. Well, that's what your Mac <laughs> likes to do with your SD cards. It leaves these little hidden files. And uh, Mac is infamous for this, you know. You know, Mac, of course, is god of uh, of uh, of uh, image work and uh, and uh, video editing, photo editing. But uh, Macs like to take a dump on your SD card. So what you need to do is, after you remove it, and if you don't intend to format the card, want to reuse it with all the images intact, and just slide the SD card uh, lock on before you stick it into your Mac and then off when you stick it back in your Fuji. But the easiest thing to do is you don't have to screw with any of that. As soon as you remove it from your Mac and stick it back in your... Uh, and this is what you should do with your Nikon anyway. When you stick it back... But Nikon doesn't have an issue with these files. Um, when you stick it back uh, in your uh, Fuji camera, immediately format it. I've told you in another video that you never want to delete your pictures off your SD card. That can actually cause... Uh, file structure corruption, there shouldn't even be a damn delete button on any camera. Okay, you just take it all, you got plenty of room to leave the crap on there, just put it on your computer, offload all the files, stick it back in the camera, and then format it. Always format it. So this is something that uh, is important for every photographer to do, but especially important because issues have cropped up, and they're not serious issues at all, but you need to reformat if uh, you know all your uh, images have been exported and backed up from your computer and archived onto external hard drives. And just stick it back in your Fuji and format it. So SD card leaves your Fuji and uh, goes to uh, take a little uh, a little uh, sex break with your Mac. Then stick it back in the Fuji and then uh, re-sterilize the card, i.e. reformat it. So that will fix that issue. For some reason, I was going to make a video on this, but a couple of people asked me about it recently, so that is the answer to that. Obviously, it's not really an issue. The issue belongs to Mac because it likes to take a little dump on your SD card. Okay? Uh, got it. Good.